Hello, you're welcome once, uh, once again to my channel. And here I'll be teaching you how to shade a cartoon character for a music album. So yeah, I've already drawn my sketch. So if you have your own sketch, you can just use from this tutorial to learn how to shade easily. And uh, it's very fast. So I'll be making a very simple shading here. So this is your sketch and the one below is the uh, background color for this for the body so once i tap off the eye of the sketch you see what happens so there you can see where i got my reference from so now i switch off the reference and switch on the background color so there you see where my background color is at this uh, that's below the sketch layer so and this one below is for uh, the closing so once you create anyway you create that layer if it doesn't match with what i have right here you can just adjust it to the bottom at that area where i have mine so now you zoom and uh, you start to paint on the clothes because that's uh, the area where I am now on my shading. So I've already uh, painted the one for the body, remaining the clothes. So you can just use or follow the way I did mine and uh, apply it on your. So on that same layer where you, uh, you painted that shirt, so there you're going to select another color for the trouser and uh, paint there also on that same layer. So now I'm done with the background color of the body and the cloth. So I go select another layer. Oh, sorry, I'm going to select a, a PNG image. That's a shoe image which I downloaded online because I don't want to like. I don't want to waste much time on this tutorial, so I'm just going to add a shoe for my character. But if you wish to draw the shoe, you can do it yourself, but I don't want to waste much time, so I just have to add a PNG image. So, whatever image you add, after marking or clicking accept, you click on cancel. So that it won't change the view or the appearance of your image which you added. So next I'm gonna select lasso 2. So I click on my brush uh, toolbar option. 
last year I'm going to get the uh, lesser two so with that lesser two I'll be able to resize the right side of the shoe of that layer So next I'm going to change the color of the shoe to match with the clothes. So I'll make it red from FX option and select adjust color, use saturation and then I drag it backward a little bit. So here you can see I have the color which I wanted. Now let's get to shading uh, process of our character. So I create a layer above the uh, background clothes layer, select my brush and uh, do some settings on it. I can increase size by one. So from there I select uh, different shades of uh, blue. I also get a darker tone to like uh, add some grid to or shade grid or shade to my character. <laughs> so I won't be fast in this uh, process so that you'll be able to catch up on what I'm doing. So now I've selected uh, another darker one, a little bit darker. So I add little on the sides of the trouser, not that much. So once I'm done, I can add another darker one to that case. So from here, it can bring out that. Select a, a soft brush, a hair brush, and uh, on that new layer for the highlight, uh, we paint it very light, not much, 
to give it a kind of uh, uh, a light shading then it can extrude a little bit through that light shading I've created there so same shading which I do for the clothes uh, sorry for the travel can uh, apply the same uh, process to the shirt so I just fasten this Now painting the uh, body won't be that hard, so you just create a layer above the uh, uh, skin background layer above. Then on it, on that new layer, you just uh, shade a darker color of the skin tone you have there, or which you selected with the pen tool. So uh, from there, you can just follow the way I did my own shading. Just a simple shading. Once you're done, you see the outcome of it, which you would really love. So next I have to save this work as a PNG file. And uh, once I'm done I later import the image which I have saved without the background and the IBS app on the new document. So from here I have to add my background. Uh, I downloaded background. Can I zoom? So right here for the, my process, oh, um, I'm going to like add other characters to the uh, background and also how to create shadows. So just watch and uh, learn.
So after creating a new layer for um, I should be here under the rest of the layers just like I did now. So there you select a, a soft brush and your color should be black. Then you paint gradually on the ground following this process which I'm doing right now. Then your image tends to look like it's standing on that background. So to spice this up, I'm uh, going to add uh, a light flare, a lens flare um, on the car so that it will look as if uh, it's still on. So I select that uh, light glow color there for light image, PNG image and uh, uh, make it have the shape of the car lights so right now I'm going to adjust it using the perspective transform tool so from here I'll be able to get the right shape of the light then I can duplicate and uh, add it to the other side so from there it will look at look as if it's on So next I duplicate that layer and add it to the other side. So next time I add a, a little color adjustment to the light, increase it, make it look uh, natural and uh, we are done. So to spicing up your tone you can just add some right up and the others like I'm going to show you now. So over here you can see how I did this and uh, you can see other comic characters I created using this same format. So if this was helpful, you can click on subscribe on my channel to support me. Thank you.